I'm Winston Pinnock and I'm the author of Leave Taking. I think that final scene gives you a hint of what is happening to the characters or what will happen to them at the end of the play or beyond the play. I think one of the biggest things that happens in that scene is that Enid reveals herself because all through the play she's been this tough mother who seems to give her kids tough love, pushing them forward, pushing them to integrate into British society because she wants them to survive. And she never talks about herself, her own heartbreak, about how difficult it was to leave her own country of origin. And then in that final scene, she finally breaks open and she opens her heart to the daughter she has had the most conflict with. May. 83, 84. <laughs> Obia was a practice that survived enslavement. It survived um, colonialism. It was repressed, it was banned in the Caribbean but people would practice underground. So it's a sort of fusion of Western and traces of African religion. The way that May uses it in the play, that she does provide a service for the women in her community, it seems, where she helps them to mend. Dell, 23. Every play provides or presents challenges when you're writing them. And with this play, I think it was finding the characters, especially the older characters, Broad, Enid, May, because actually that, that generation, the Windrush generation, at the time they, they never really spoke about their early experiences in Britain. And I think they were very difficult because you can read about what happened to people who migrated from the Caribbean. They were excluded from many spaces, but they would never talk about it with the younger generation. And so that was the challenge, was finding these characters and coming to understand their struggles. London. One of the themes I would love young people to explore in the classroom is this idea of the person who migrates from one country, leaves everything or seemingly everything behind and starts again in a new country and what that signifies, what that takes and whether they do leave everything behind because of course they don't and how does that impact on the country that they've moved to? How does their presence change? that country and its culture.